Have you ever wondered who keeps us informed about issues like extreme weather, disease, and whether our food and water are safe to consume? In today's Spotlight video, we're excited to introduce Maya Davis, Environmental Health Program Manager at the Arizona Department of Health Services. Maya focuses on health education and community outreach across Arizona. She'll explain how she uses data and public health trends to solve problems and promote community well-being. Maya will also talk about why good communication and teamwork are key to reaching as many people as possible, and how being adaptable, flexible, and resilient helps her succeed. She will also share advice for anyone interested in science but unsure about which career path to choose. My name is Maya Davis and I work here at the Arizona State Public Health Laboratory at the Arizona Department of Health Services. I am an environmental health program manager and I specialize in health education and community outreach. So as a health educator, my role really comes into play. I work a lot with uh, epidemiologists or environmental scientists who are the like, data and technical experts. They're digging into that data. They're looking for trends and ways that we as public health professionals can really address problems, how we can best support community to promote health, and how do we communicate with the average person? How do we show that to a person living out in Phoenix or Tucson who might not have studied environmental science? It's really important to remember that not everybody gets their information in the same way. We pair that with visuals, um, whether those are stock photos or graphic images. We pair them with really short messages that people are likely to understand, that they're likely to relate to. Um, and so that's really how we're best able to communicate with people through different media avenues. I use uh, reading and writing every single day in my job. Um, even in the sciences, it's important to be a good reader, a good writer. Um, whether I am writing social media captions, really short, concise messages about something very complicated and science heavy, or I am writing very long technical documents um, that we share on the internet with our colleagues around the whole entire country, um, I need to be able to write at different levels um, with different information, different vocabulary. I also use reading every single day, whether that's just communicating with those around me or I am reading very technical documents. I need to read those critically to make sure that we are keeping up with the very best science. Skills that I use all the time, number one, collaboration. We can't do anything by ourselves. Um, no matter who we are, we need to make sure that we're working well with others. Um, so I work one-on-one -on -one with my team members every single day. I also work one-on-one -on -one with others throughout the agency and other state agencies. Uh, so those at the Department of Environmental Quality, they do a lot of environmental sampling. We need to make sure that we're talking with them regularly on an ongoing basis so that we're all on the same page, making sure that we're serving Arizonans as best we can. A piece of advice that I have for students, take the opportunities you have to look at the different areas of science, whether that's technology or data, maybe you'll end up working as an epidemiologist, um, or maybe you want to focus on the people side of science, um, looking at how to communicate scientific information with people, whether that's through graphic design and the arts, or whether that's through education like myself and communicating with individuals and communities about scientific uh, principles.